Hello and welcome back to Game Deck. So, we are in the theater where apparently Freddo is being held. So, let's go and find out if we were right and he's meeting with the clan leader. Is there anybody we can speak to around here? Doesn't look like it so far. Might just try walking in. What's this weird light? It's a weird light. Okay, and there's a weird cat. Hello. You also have nothing to tell me. Uh, is that Freddo? Jester. Someone finally showed up. I may have been expecting it, but the feeling of surprise is so refreshing. A game deck. So, Mr. Haggis got scared, which was only a means to another end. Have a look at this. Freddo is completely stripped of his avatar skin. This is his own, really himself, carnal, sweaty. Freddo is a minor. He's killing a woman inside an adult game. Let's keep calm. What do you want? Everything you see here is recorded from every possible angle, and if Haggis doesn't do what I'm asking, the footage of the boy's full name will be published all over the net. It'll be titled, Like Father, Like Son. What's the price? Let's cut to the chase. How much? He knows exactly what I want, and it's not about money. He's got to do what I tell him. No more, no less. What do you want from me? Just tell him to listen to orders and wait for further instructions. What if I refuse? Oh, you don't want to say no to me. Not unless you like jokes and value the truth. If so, then feel free to refuse. Um, if I log out, my investigation would have been disrupted. Hmm. Do we accept or do we refuse? Um, I think we refuse. I don't appreciate being forced to do things. Let me see what you prepared here first. A gallant knight without his horse. I've made some modifications. I hope you like a good show. Oh. We just got kicked out. We got a new clue as well. So where are we? We're in here. What is the loop? After death, return to the refuge. If you die in Twisted and Perverted, you get respawned to the nearest refuge. Uh, Jester said something about a few modifications he made in the theater. Okay. So if I head back here, did I... I got something in here I can't see anymore? Okay, so we know who the clan leader is. What is the loop? Interesting. So I assume another one of these paths would be do what he says. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Gather more information. Can I leave? I cannot leave. Okay, so everything is within the theater. So let's go in here and see what we got. So we got a cat walking along there. If we got anything else going on here that we can look at. We look at the cat. Oh, we can talk to this guy, stranger? Yes, yes, you're right. We shouldn't have let the kid do that. He looked down and bit his lip. Uh, ask about the kid? You mentioned the kid. Did you mean Freddo? What are you saying? You know how companies work. It's the son of the director. Day in, day out, those cabins. Stop interrupting. You're making it a big deal. Say nothing. Okay, maybe we should have done something about it. But it was just two times and he was clever. He did it online in Paradise Beach, so... I figured it out. But why are you nagging? Others knew too. Firing someone for a hot photo in an era where everyone edits images? Haggis vouched for him. Observe him. The guest was gesturing and talking to somebody. I couldn't hear what the other person was saying. Fuck, alright, so you know. What are you going to do about it? Intimidate me with your little bells and your little hat? So you're speaking to the jester. Are you going to blackmail me? Burn my feet? What are you doing? Is that a cheat? What the fuck? Okay, so this person was trapped by the jester. Oh, right, and now we're out of there. Did we learn anything? No. Okay. How about... Oh, yes, you're right. We shouldn't have let the kid do that. Who is he talking to? Definitely not me. Hmm. Are you in a loop? I wanted to say something, but I did something else against my will. You mentioned the kid. Did you mean Freddo? What are you saying? You know how companies work. It's the son of the director. Day in, day out. Those cabins. Stop interrupting. You're making it a big deal. What's going on? 
The words that came out of my mouth weren't the ones I wanted to say. Okay, maybe we should have done something about it. But it was just two times and he was clever. He did it online in Paradise Beach, so... I figured it out. But why are you nagging? Others knew too. Firing someone for a hot photo in an era where everyone edits images? Haggis vouched for him. Resist. I resisted with all my strength, but the virtual body didn't obey me. The guest was gesturing and talking to someone. Or somebody. I couldn't hear what the other person was saying. Fuck, alright, so you know. What are you going to do about it, kiddo? Intimidate me with your little bells and your little hat? Are you going to blackmail me, burn my feet? What are you doing? Is that a cheat? What the fuck? So what now? Are you going to log out and deliver my demands to the old fart? Loop. So what have we learned? Who are the people in here? No reaction. The man I talked to didn't react to me and only played back recorded dialogue with somebody else. They're MPEX. Program, playing out program scenes. Real people. We're lured in by the loops or decorations. I don't know yet. We know that he didn't react, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's not real because we also reacted in the same way. What was within the loop? Recorded uh, conversation. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So the whole theater would seem likely. I haven't seen the... I need to relook at the cat. Hmm. All players, inanimate objects aren't looped. Interesting. What's going on? What's going on here? Who are you? The locals call me the cheater. But I take offense to that name. Any idiot can be a cheater. But I can do so much more. So, will you log out and present my demands to Haggis? Jester is a cheater. Okay. So I would guess that probably means it's a cheat, not an exploit. Or an exploit. Uses lines from the game. Hmm, but they call him a cheater. That doesn't necessarily mean he is a cheater. How are you talking? How are we talking just a second ago? I can do a lot. You see, I'm an Anna... I, I'm an Arche. Well, let's not get ahead of the facts. So what now? Will you log out and tell Haggis to do as I say? No. I won't be your errand boy. Oh, we're, we're then cut, um, chucked out. Right, we now have to deduce how to break the loop. Can I have a look at this cat? The cat runs forward like this. The cat appears to be the same thing each time. Chair fell over. Cat walks across. Cat attacks twice. That guy drops in. Cat runs over. Cat does something different. The cat did something different. The cat is not part of the loop. Let's see if it loops around again. Waiting for the cat to do something else. Hmm. Interesting. We can only barely see the bed scene at the end, but we know that that is looping. It felt like his eyes were following my every move. Is he conscious? He kept repeating the same sequence of words and gestures, but his eyes... Yes, he wasn't looking at his invisible companion, he was looking at me. The spell he was under didn't control his eyes. Did I use eye control? You mentioned the kid, did you mean Freddo? Okay, so that means... We know that this man is conscious. Okay, this means he is likely aware of his condition. Hmm, which means that he's a real person. Okay. So that leads us to some conclusion, whatever that conclusion is, it doesn't necessarily mean we're out, it just leads us to a conclusion. They retain consciousness, which leads us into here, but we don't know what here is yet. Try eye control? I tried to move my eyes a few times. Yes, I was able to move them and my programs were responding. New clue. So we back in here? We are. I retain consciousness. Yeah, okay. Well, that makes sense, that I'm a real person, but I am looping. Oh, anything else? They retain consciousness. I'm just seeing if we missed some. if we got something else somewhere else. Oh, is it back here? No, okay, that's fine. Right. So this is the same loop. I can run the Guardian Angel program? Sure. I issued a command and separated myself from my body. Virtulium. Game decks. New information. Guardian Angel. 
Many rookie game decks think that all they need to do is pick up a few programs from their, for their deck and they'll be a full-blown genuine article. You know which ones I mean, the investigator, zoom, a recorder, etc. But that's not how it goes. It's not the tools that determine how good you are, it's what you do with them. I think the program most commonly used by rookies is Guardian Angel, so here's a few tips. Guardian Angel is illegal. Should you decide to use it, you do so at your own risk. Well, I really wish I'd learned that before I used it. Okay. If the admins catch you, you can try convincing them that you're a game deck conducting investigation and maybe show them your license, but there are no regulations on how to proceed in situations like this. Maybe they'll let you go, but maybe they won't. What can this application do for you? You become invisible and can go through walls, levitate, eavesdrop and spy on other players. You run analysis on what you're seeing, but not much else. This program doesn't let you interact with other players. You can't touch them, whisper in their ear or tap them on the shoulder yelling peekaboo. You'll be invisible, inaudible, undetectable. That is, unless you buy the program in some shady corner of the dark web. In that case, I can't guarantee any of the functionalities are listed above. It may malfunction, you may be seen or heard. So why use it in the first place? I game deck. it's a blog. Okay. Well, that's cool. New clue. Oh, is this how to break the loop? People on stage are just decorations, I can't use them. People in the audience are NPEC? Have modifiable code, this may be useful. They retain consciousness. I can't break the loop. Well, that sounds pretty bad. Okay, let's see what else we got around here. Can I go back in here as well? Maybe. It said I had another thing. I must be talking about that one that we keep looking at over here but can't access because it's in an area we can't access. I can still look at what is the loop and make a decision as well on what's within the loop. Okay, what have we got? Incoming call? Accept. Ah, oh, so I'll be watching you. Staying vigilant in case they're trouble. I'm keeping my finger on the pulse. Damn it, I couldn't say anything. I needed to focus and send him the answers mentally. Ken, can you hear me? I'm sending my thoughts to you. I can hear you. You figured out mental control. I'm impressed. I'm going to tell him about the loop. I think I'm stuck inside a loop. It's probably an external cheat, not an exploit. What I know, there are no normal loops in TMP, but I could be wrong. Wrap it up. Uh, Alright, Ken. Thank you for your interest. I'll try and work something out. I'll do some work, too. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Okay. So, loops in TMP. It doesn't have loops, such as action replays, so it probably isn't a loop. Good to know. Just checking every corner that we can right now. Anything outside? No. Can I see anything here? Cat. I wonder why there was a cat in such a game. To set the mood? Analyze. A typical MPEG. Well, not typical, but just as lifeless as everything around it. Caught in a loop. I said goodbye to the cat. Alright, Virtulium? NPCs. MPEGs, NPCs. Uh, origin of the word. MPEG, one of the strangest words on the net. Where did it come from? Why has it become so popular? Hypothesis is vary, but the one that seems to have gained the most traction can be traced back to the territories of former Poland. The NPC acronym was pronounced as uh, NP... or er, just MPEG. Or MPEZ. Okay, MPEZ. By the Polish people, and by the mid-21st century, this form had become widely adopted in social media. This was before the information era. Because the word was incomprehensible to other nationalities, the Poles kept patiently explaining its meaning. The inspiration for the change is said to have been inspired by a series of science fiction novels, but the sources don't mention their titles. Finally, the solution got to the point where the awkward acronym MPC was abandoned in favour of MPEC, with English spe uh, speakers pronouncing the word as MPEC. Another hypothesis claims that the name is an amalgam of in peak, and originated from the fact that at the dawn of the game history, MPEX, no matter what time of day it was, always remained in peak condition, and not getting tired from managing shop counters or working in taverns, ever smiling, ready to answer our questions. This hypothesis seems to be confirmed in, uh, by retrospective research, which proves that this period marked the introduction of scripts that made MPEX experience tiredness, irritability, etc. If the in-peak condition hypothesis is true, then the word MPEX contributed to making MPEX more human. Oh. But now, we have learned that the cat is looped, and it's doing the same uh, series of motions. Okay, so we knew that. Recorded conversation, and the cat- oh wait, no we didn't. Okay. So everything is looped, including the cat. So that lets us get out here. One thread. 
All objects within the loop are in a single thread, which means the loop can be broken by a single element overloading. Okay. That's useful. I like that this is multiple uh, investigations leading into a, a main one. I assume that later they're going to have, like, bigger versions of this. So you're going to have, like, a whole investigation which leads into another investigation which leads into another one. You have to, like, investigate multiple leads at the same time to get an answer. Because I'm assuming that the first case is all a tutorial, basically. Just click in there so that I'm hoping that gets rid of that little uh, thing saying we have more. Okay, that did. Okay. So, we can look at ourselves. Um, what about this guy? Who's this guy? The guy was in a loop. He was staring at the scene, licking his thick lips, rubbing his cheek, and gulping over and over again. According to the analyzer, he couldn't see a thing, nor was he aware what was going on. Time stopped for him, but that didn't make sense. Every few seconds, he looked at me. I could tell he was conscious. It seemed as if someone was trying to conceal the, treats, uh, the cheat's true nature. Okay. Consciousness is preserved. Some cheats can render the player unconscious, but those effects don't correspond with the behavior of the guests inside the theater. Some cheats can render the player unconscious. Those effects don't correspond. So that's leading towards exploit, but a lot of other stuff we've learned leads towards cheat. Let's have a look here. My skin. It felt strange to see it like this. Even more strange seeing it repeat the same actions over and over again. Or again and again. Showtime. I wouldn't see anything unless it was something simple. Found it. It looks like a replay code. There was even a note from the designer. Right, the game was supposed to have a replay feature, but it hadn't been implemented, so it wasn't a cheat surrounding me. It was unused game code. That's why the admins and security algorithms weren't reacting. So it's an exploit. Enough self-admiration, I looked better in Relium anyway. So that means that it's 100% an exploit. Okay. Lock it in. Even though he, uh, the only reason we thought it wasn't is because Zhao told us it wasn't. Alright. That now leads in here. It's an exploit. Okay. I need to take a closer look at this exploit. Okay. What's our last thing we haven't uh, done? No data. Alright, let's go have a look at the, oh, the chair as well. Someone had knocked over a chair, it fell down, but then it was suddenly upright over and over. All I determined is there, were, there was a loop here. Inanimate objects wouldn't tell me much. That was all. So that was what was within the loop. The chair fell the same way each time. Okay. We got that one. Couch. They were making love, or whatever that was, on a rather unusual bed. A water bed. You only see these in, ga in games these days. The sheets moved rhythmically. Forward and backward. A loop. Alright, so we knew that that was also looping. But we already knew that was looping because, well, it had to be. Like it, it's in, oh, that's uh, Panasantor, isn't it? Or at least it's the same model, I think. Anyway, we knew that this had to be looping because our loop option only had bed, um, everything but inanimate uh, and inanimate. Okay. So what else can we interact with here? It must be something else, right? Not that. Not that. How about this guy? No. Nope. Nothing here. Nothing with that dude. What about over this way? Nothing here. Can we go up here? We can. Does this give us other options? Freddo. The boy looked like Freddo, but I couldn't be sure it was really him. Uh, check his vitals. His blood pressure was elevated, but still within the norm. His hormones were oscillating, but within norms as well. His sexual arousal... Ecstasy, terror, his limbic system was red, but still, everything within normal ranges. After all, these games were designed to provide pleasure, adrenaline, and so on. In activate the investigator. Activated the investigative program. After the progress bar reached 100%, I was certain. It was Fredo Haggis. Alright. Rutulium game decks? Investigator. Investigator. Now, that's a good program. Really good. It's also illegal. His job is to track down a player's Relium address and retrieve their personal information, so it's a gem. It seems a lot of what we do is illegal. Um, there's only one issue with it. Well, more like two. One, it takes time to work. You have to be patient and mustn't break the connection with the person you want to investigate. Two, to turn on the investigator, you have to touch another player and you can't let go. Hold on for as long as the investigator is analyzing the data. The pressure doesn't have to be strong. You don't need to pinch. But you must be touching their avatar skin, that's how it works. So you see, although the program is useful, actually using it is cumbersome. 
How do you justify shaking someone's hand then holding it for a minute? It's messed up. Over the course of my career, I used Investigator either as a last resort or when some miracle gave me an opportunity. I definitely recommend it. So if we can use it, we should. Okay. Uh, but we're not going to get a lot of um, opportunities. Is Fredo present here? Well, we have his condition. I think he is. Make contact. I couldn't speak while in Guardian Angel mode, but I could still write him something. Something like, I'm a game deck, Fredo. I'm here to help you. Can you respond with your voice? If not, blink three times. He blinked three times, but we weren't going to be talking. I knew everything. So we we do know that there was no verbal contact, but he knows I'm there. I activated the spy where he pointed me to the actual couch Fredo Haggis is using. So yes, the person on the couch is Fredo. That much we're fairly certain of. Okay. So how does that link into our thing? Fredo is in the loop. How to break the loop. Fredo is locked. So we can overload the woman. If I connect to the girl's helmet, I can overload her syn uh, synaptically. The hormone and neurotransmitter concentration spike should log her off. I can overload the boy's brain by overclocking his helmet software. I can't break the loop or duplication of the surrounding elements. Due to the jester's modification, some of the objects inside the loop are glitched. A little skill, I could copy them. No software performs well when overloaded. I think that's probably the safest option. Is there anything else here? Woman. The woman tried to fight, but she came up short. Typical TMP gameplay. You win some, you lose some. Is she wearing her own skin? Let's check. No, she wasn't exposed. Who he is? Let's turn on investigation program. Rebecca Umba. Was she in any way connected with... Hmm, with whom? I still didn't know who had done uh, all this. I noted down the data just in case. Okay. Fredo was in the theater. We already know. Dark web. Rebecca Umba, investigating officer. Um, okay, new, uh, Long Tower, 2113, New Miami. Name, Red uh, Kurilenko, age 45. Marital status, divorced. Couch type, Grundhog 2000. Suit, Rough Day 12. Helmet, Siegfried 2. Criminal record, convict convicted for attempted rape in 2183. Okay. Um, so did that give, what did that give us? I assume it just gave us something in here? I don't think it gave us anything. Yeah, it didn't give us anything new. I think I'm going to duplicate the surrounding objects or elements. Let's see how that goes. Ending. Well, I've deduced how to break the loop. So do I now go back here? Duplicate the objects on the stage. There we go. Pile of cats. Free Freddo. Perfect. Hey, Fredo. The kid seemed to be in a trance. He kept rhythmically opening his mouth and making spasmodic motions. As if he were still thrusting and killing. He was trying to stop his digital body from moving, but there was nothing he could do. Ha, 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 God. Make it stop. I, I, I can't. I can't stop it. Take him outside. Breathe. It'll help you control the spasms. I'll take you outside. It's all over now. I believe we have just freed Fredo. Which I would say is a very successful ending. Exit. So shallow are the people who believe in easy solutions. Really, Game Deck, were you expecting to just walk out of here? I was counting on this being more interesting. It paralyzed me. I couldn't move a muscle. Oh no, was it a cheat? All you had to do was log out and tell Haggis what you were supposed to. But people need drama and to play the hero. Alright, Chief, I have a plan. Let me know when you're ready. Let's give the signal. Or we can be passive for a second. Be passive. I had no idea what he was doing, so I didn't know whether to stop him or cheer him on. Okay, Chief. Ken is taking the initiative. But he's doing it anyway, that's fine. A metallic noise kept getting louder until it disappeared. Hmm, I don't think it should be working that way. Alright, I'll move it here. Hmm, Chief, I'll be there in a moment. Don't worry, your life's in good hands. Why isn't it working? Maybe if I press here. Alright, Knight, allow me to show you a couple of things. Oh my lord. That's incredible. Uh, Ken, are you okay? 
Yeah, Fredo, I'm gonna need you to follow me. Let's go. Can I look at the car? No. All right, I'm very happy we got Ken on our team. He did nothing for the most of what we just did there, but then he saved our ass at the end. Good on, good old Ken. Hello, nice view, eh? I hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh dear, this isn't good. Uh, we also do not have a new thing there. You again. What a cliche, give me the child. You can't take care of it, I'll wait for you somewhere near the end of the rooftops. The game is all about killing, and it has a lot of tools for taking someone's life. Find Fredo before his brain gets fried. Oh no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Straight through here, we'll follow this guy. Uh, maybe not. Ooh, you drink it, Ken. I can't remember a time when you weren't drinking, but it's your health and business. Oh, that's the other haggis. You're probably screwing some model. Ooh, okay. I'm here, Jester. Get back the kid. Indeed, you are present, although you most likely do not understand the word presence. I don't have any more digital tricks up my sleeve, and I'm a little tired from all this. You win. The kid looks healthy enough, at least physically. He's at your disposal. Oh, that was rather easy. I'm assuming this is because we found out it was an exploit. And I, the avenger of wronged women, will go back to my clients and tell them the world won't learn of their misery. Explain. What do you mean? I'm just like you. I'm a contractor. Starlet hired me. You met her in Haggis's office. She was looking for justice for her girlfriend. The secretary of Director Haggis, who was blackmailed and sexually taken advantage of. She wasn't the only one. Oh, so we think this is correct based upon the evidence we have. There was another woman taken advantage of by the son of a... Uh, if not for me, there would likely would have been even more. You see, our boy Fredo is quite the rogue, rascal, and scoundrel. No, wait, he's a son of a bitch and a juvenile scumbag. Let me have him. Let me finish what I started. What did he do? Wait, what did Fredo do? He sexually abused the woman working for his father. Clever boy, hmm? What's your plan? What were you planning? I wanted to make a movie entitled Like Father, Like Son and post it online. I could use a few more scenes. See for yourself. A loop scene I've already uh, a loop scene I've already seen appears on my deck. I think you mentioned it before. You said that it was all to make Haggis obey. Yes, perhaps I'm getting uh, confused with a. It could be more than one cause for human action. Game deck. Our job is not to be a champion. It it's to save Fredo. We're gonna log off with Fredo. I realized the significance of the accusations, but I came here for a specific reason. I'm taking the boy. You heard me out. I will not stand in your way. Tell Haggis whatever you want about what happened here, but remind him it's his own fault. I wish you the best in this and future lives. Hey, Fredo, you alright? We need to log off. Yeah, I guess so, but sir, in this game, you can only do it from an asylum. Not when you're a game deck. I'll fix it for you and see you on the other side. Okay, so we've saved Fredo, but we still need to deal with the fact that both him and Haggis are obviously awful people. Uh, finally, you're awake. What happened to my son? Dad, stop yelling. Everything hurts. You're alive. He's okay. In pain, but okay. Mr. Game Deck, please wait in the office. Of course. I just wanted to stand there and listen to your conversation, but I guess I'll wait in the office. There's something my son wants to tell you before we get started. Uh, I, I, I'm grateful. Thank you. I'll answer professionally. Just doing my job. A real pro. Take notice, son. Alright, we still have a few things to discuss. You called, sir. Clear my schedule for the rest of the week. Uh, get the new mobile ready and call Dr. Charskik for an urgent house call at the apartment. Let's go home, son. The doctor will examine you just in case. Go to the car. I'll be right there. Has it? Haggis extended his hand to the kid who automatically took a step back. Fredo looked at me. Goodbye. Thank you again. Haggis looked at me with obvious approval. Your effectiveness is impressive, but I still have a few more questions. I want to understand what happened there. 
Why wasn't Fredo able to get out of the game? Hmm. Do we ask about payment first? Let's tell him about the bugs. The game is full of bugs. I see no correlation. Tell me what happened in the game. Professionally. Fredo was imprisoned and twisted and perverted by a hacker wearing a jester skin. Your son was caught in a loop and lost control of his digital body, but he was aware of what was happening around him. But you were finally able to get him out. Continue. Hmm. I'm going to tell him what happened on the roof. Fredo was the prisoner of a hacker dressed like a jester, a freedom from the loop in the theatre, where he was stuck in a horrific scene. Wait, what loop? What scene? Um... I'll tell him about the th scene in the theater. It was this theater with a stage and a bed. Fredo was having sex with a woman, stabbing her with a dagger in a loop, likely for hours. Haggis turned pale. My Fredo! Everything was recorded. The recording was supposed to be called, like father, like son. It was to be used as blackmail. That's not all. The hacker moved us up to the theater roof and I had to take part in a disgusting game with your life, a son's life at stake. I was ultimately able to pass the test. Then the hacker released Fredo. I don't. I truly don't know why. He seemed uh, omnip. Um, he seemed omnipotent. He seemed omnipotent. Haggis was moved by my story. He looked at me with respect. How could something like this have affected Fredo's psyche? He spoke in a strangely raspy voice. Well. But as a professional, we'll express our opinion. He may have trauma for the rest of his life, or his mind may metabolize it all without a trace. Perhaps he'll even grow thanks to this. It depends on the parameters of his nervous system. Inhibition, resistance, the thickness of the myelene sheaths, the and development potential. You're talking like our doctor. I'll tell him your opinion. Anything else I should know about what happened in the game? I'll tell him about the hacker. The hacker had a jester skin. He didn't look threatening, but had quite the arsenal. He could modify the game almost without limit. He trapped the admins. And my son. He said nothing more for a while. I could try and learn what he knows about jester. That's from my sensory surgeon one. Let's do that. Jester seemed to know you well, but you didn't mention him when you hired me. Do you know him? You're astute, game deck, and I'm willing to trust you. Yes, that hacker is no stranger to me. I suspected he was responsible, but I wasn't certain. Keep it just between us. What was it all for? What was the point of trapping Fredo? Haggis stared at the floor inlays. We're gonna... We can accuse him of abducting his son? No, I don't think that's where we... That's definitely not what I think happened. But it's weird that that's even an option. Um... I'm going to tell him about the Avenger. The hacker claimed he's avenging the wrongs suffered by the woman who worked for you. He called himself an Avenger. Says that's the reason why he was hired. Haggis seemed surprised. Avenger, that's absurd. Haggis snorted. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You were tricked, game deck. You got lost in the, your opponent's smokescreen. I'm sure that's what you would like us to think. Excuse me, the new mobile, mobile is pet. Parked at platform 12. Your son is waiting. Alright, I'm coming. I'm satisfied with your work, game deck. Anything else? Topic of the hacker? Something is bothering me about that hacker. What exactly? Do you know Jester? Jester seemed to know you well, but you didn't... Oh, I already did this. Oops. Oh, is he just going now? Uh, pay me. Swap out my pay. You'll get it, don't worry, just like we agreed. Well, my son is waiting for me. Thank you, detective. You can expect a hefty reward. Haggis hesitated for a moment. You know all this glitz and wealth ain't worth shit. You understand? Probably not. He squeezed my hand and looked into my eyes. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. About to leave, he stopped in his tracks as he noticed something on the painting. Fuck, some dick scratched the frame. We knew that. Wait, that was us. He took the elevator and I started to make my way back home. <laughs> I just for I forgot it entirely. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. 
I kind of feel unsatisfied by the ending, but I guess that's the point. You're meant to go back and kind of see what the other options were. If you t if you took the investigation in a different way, can you find out the true truth? Hmm. Interesting. Also, I wonder, because some of the characters look like they might come back, whether we're going to get more info about it later. That would be cool. I snapped out of my thoughts. The apartment was overheated. The power must have gone out. Let's recall a dream. I was covered in sweat. A moment earlier, I'd been lying on the floor in Jeffrey Haggis's office, paralyzed. Jester was there, and so was the panda, Fredo, Haggis, even Timmy. They were laughing at me. I thought I was going to get hurt, even die. I couldn't do anything. I was helpless and vulnerable. Start our day. There was no time for slacking. I needed to restore power to my apartment. Luckily, Bliss had a separate source of power. Home inspections are where the major dormos really shine. Alright, well I think that this is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. We finished our first case and I don't feel like I got the right answer. I was hoping to get a little bit more out of Haggis when we came out of the... Um, yeah, when we came out of the uh, virtual world. I thought that it would be make sense to make our priority to save Fredo, because that was our objective. But, yeah, I thought we were going to be able to get like a little bit more of a conclusion. But it could also be that all of these stories are going to lead into one, because if we look at our codex, we have quite a lot of these characters are, are suggesting they might come back. Especially, I assume, the ones like the Han Clan ones are definitely, you know, going to come back. And anyone that referenced another game, I would assume, will come back. So... There is a chance that later, we might be able to uh, find out a little bit more about this investigation. But yeah, it's been cool. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.